The Portland Pilots are the newest team in college football. A soccer powerhouse, the newest team in the FBS is looking to make their mark in real football. With the sleek uniforms and a run and gun offense, their goal is to win a college football national championship. And if we don't complete that, along with the rest of the goals on screen, one of you guys will be winning a brand new jersey. Let's begin. We're taking over for the Portland Pilots. We're going to run a Michigan pro style offense. The base 3-4 defense. Wanted to have an alma mater close to Portland, so we went with just Oregon. Pipeline of North Texas. We are not black. You can look at me and tell that. We're going to go with this guy. He looks as close to me as he can get. Six foot? No, we're going to make my guy seven foot. Unfortunately, we had to replace Utah State. Had who's a stretch, but I felt like we needed to. Goals win five games. I don't know how easy or hard that's going to be. We'll find out. All right, so we're an 80 overall two-star program, 82 offense, 80 defense. We do have a lot of guys at risk of transferring. We do not like to see that. So we have to have, we have to actually make a good run this season or else it's going to be bottoms up. An upgrade recruiter. We know how this goes. I do this every time. Recruiter is such an overpowered tree. Important for us to do that right now. All right, so taking a look at our team, we do have some guys that are high impact players in senior right tackle Garrett Lewis and junior wide receiver Jet Moore. These are guys that we're going to have to replace soon. Garrett Lewis, these are a seniors, so we're gonna have to replace him right away. Jet Moore might leave early, but we do have a lot of good wide receivers in Zara Smith, Noah Richmond, Dylan Snell, and then we got some other sophomores and freshmen out here that we're gonna develop. At right tackle, however, we don't have an answer. Gary Lewis is gonna leave. Maybe Taryn Maxwell is the guy next year, but long term, we don't have anybody. Don't know how I feel about Zarike Flower. We definitely have to go get someone right now. All right, so after going through red shirts, let's take a look at the recruiting board. This is gonna be interesting. I've never recruited with a team like this before. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Even though we're only a two star program, we're actually gonna go after a couple of four stars. It's strong safety, Leo Cleveland, center. Daryl Toppins, cornerback Jared Baggin, and right outside linebackers are Manuel Germain and Manuel Jimenez. If we can get these five guys, we're going to be set at a lot of positions for a long time. Let's take a look at our schedule for this first year. Starting off in a week zero game against Oregon State. We then go to App State and the number 25 USC. That's going to be a tough game. We come back to take on number 12 Utah. Then we go to Temple. We have an FCS school. We have a first buy that we host UNLV. Go to UMass. Because we don't play a week zero game, we actually have three technical buys. We don't play a game week nine or 10. We then go to Washington State, host Hawaii, and San Diego State, and the season at Colorado State. So we play a bunch of West Coast teams. I think the only teams we play not at West are at App State, at Temple, technically FCS Northwest, but who cares? And at UMass. Everything else is West Coast. So that's actually going to be a very interesting schedule. Front loaded, too. These two games against USD and Utah are going to be tough. After our game against Oregon State, Leon Winfield, two sacks, three tackles, the independent defense for the week. Darius Smith, independent offense for the week, four receptions, 92 yards, two touchdowns. Spectacular game from Smith. I actually didn't expect to win this game, but that was actually a huge game for us. Moved to 1 0 against our rivals love to see that 35 to 14 wow 92 yards and two touchdowns through the air 17 rushing yards and a touchdown for smith on the ground 20 coach points gonna throw this all at recruiting love to see that great start to this rebuild we can start scheduling visits we're gonna put as many people as we can against utah utah's our best chance at getting a lot of these guys to commit immediately we can get them to commit that'd be huge we're also gonna switch to send the house or excuse me we're gonna switch to hard sells we know someone for carry boat right so we're gonna get him right away we're also gonna hop into this game at usc i think if we can beat usc we have a chance to make a real run this season. They're only an 85 overall. They are the number 14 team in the country. I think we can do this. All right, here we go. The playing at the Coliseum is never easy. We're going to try to put this ball on the ground with Morris. Give me a couple. I kind of ran that bad. We got a couple yards, though. They really loaded the box here. We'll see if we can hand this off. Hit him with a read option. Great run by Galloway. Oh my God, in the open field. Wow. Great run by Isaac Galloway. See if we can hit him with a little play action. Couldn't even get the ball off. Damn. Bear Alexander got me right away. All right, here we go. We got to get something going on offense. Third and 17. Honestly, might go for this on fourth down. Oh, bad ball. That's not the one I want to throw to. That's not who I want to throw to. Gonna have to punt. It is what it is. Defense has played well. Offense, it's time to step up. Get there. Great ball to Jet Moore. Third and three. We just need a couple yards. Keep this drive alive. Got it. Excellent ball. Nice catch. Third and five. Driving on USC is never gonna be easy. Got it. Oh my god, I jumped the route. Oh, first and goal at the one. Justin Marlowe has played well. See if we can punch this in with Bochamp. We did! I even bit my tongue! Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Tie game. Let's see if we can get some more points on the board before half. Get out of bounds. There we go. First and Justin Marlowe did have a pick, but we're playing well so far against this USC team. I did not expect to really be in this game, I'll be honest. Oh my god, I did not think that ball was going to get through. Wow, we're moving the ball really effectively right now. Great block downfield. We're moving the ball so well. I don't know if they're in prevent or what, but we're moving. Got it. Touchdown. Touch! Oh my god, we're moving so well against USC. Holy shit. Third and inches. If we can get a stop here on defense, that would be huge. I'm on Miller. Dude, come on, make a tackle! Let's go, Ethan Lockridge! That's Elijah Lockridge. They're going for it on fourth down. Okay. Gotta get a stop here. We need it. If we can get a stop here, we put ourselves in a great spot. Fourth and three. We need one stop. Got him! Let's go! Woody Mark's going nowhere! If we can get a first down here, we would put ourselves in a great spot. Where's that mic gonna go? Got him. Got him. Got him! Stay on your feet! Let's go, Justin Marlowe! All right, Bochamp. Let's try to punch this in. Get there. 
get there! A two touchdown lead! Just under two minutes to go! If we can get this onside kick, we're a first down away from winning this game. No. 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 No, 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 no. How do we not get that extra? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Get there, you sack by Leon Winfield, his third of the day! Oh my god, we're playing great defense. They know we're in cover three. That's fine. Give me that! Game over! We are now officially a first down away from winning this game. Elijah Lockridge, I... That was an incredible play. Get out of there! Get out of there! Jamel Morris! His biggest run of the day! Gotta keep him upright, but... Oh, shit. I thought it was a fake. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was fake inside zone. We're four yards away from taking down USD. Jamel Morris, give me a couple. He just slipped through two guys. That's crazy. I don't know if that was Barry Alexander or what. Third and four. This is for the game. For the game, Jamel Morris! Ball game! Oh my god, I cannot believe we just took down USC in their building. We have one more game left on this schedule that's going to be super tough against Utah. We can take down Utah. I think we have a chance to go 11-1, which would be incredible. Justin Marlowe, a magnificent game. 343, four touchdowns. Did have a couple of picks. One of those was mine. Leon Winfield, three sacks, six tackles, three TFLs. Independent defense player of the week. National defensive player of the week. Leon with a legendary performance. The Portland Pilots, we're surprising some people. And we're going to get our first look at the Portland Pilots home stadium taking on utah this is gonna be a huge game we're starting off with the ball at home our first look at our home stadium here we go couldn't get it out in time damn gonna try going through the air again got him got him if i have the arm i got him got him over the top touchdown portland and just like that utah answers right back this is not gonna be an easy game folks Behind him, doesn't matter. There we go. We're Justin Marlowe, 111 yards through two plays. We're playing great football right now. Gotta go jet touch pass to the wide side of the field to Richmond. Fake back inside zone. Here we go. Give me a block on that edge. It's a touchdown. God. Oh, he fucking flattened him. Oh. First of all, criminal that Noah Richmond couldn't punch that in. I don't know who that was on the edge. He fucking annihilated that outside linebacker. Get up field, Jamel Morris. Just like that, we're moving the ball so effectively. And I'll be honest, boys, we absolutely unraveled Utah. The game never was close again. We beat them 51-24. to An absolute Portland punishment. I'm shocked the way we've played, and I really only played two series. Jet Moore, five catches for 256 yards. A magnificent game for Moore, three touchdowns. One of those was a 75-yard bomb we threw. But, oh my goodness. Got 10 more coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting. Recruiting is so important in this game. Jet Moore, the independent offensive player of the week. Was there really any doubt? I'd be shocked if he wasn't. Oh, he wasn't the offensive player of the week? How? Noah Conright. Oh, five touchdowns. Yeah, that'll do it. Five touchdowns? Yeah, that's the difference. We did end up getting our first minute of the video in Kerry Boatwright, the athlete. It's going to be very interesting to see how he does. Got 10 more coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting. We're recruiting at a good level so far. Just got to keep doing it. And because of our playing style, we're actually locked out of Jared Baggin and Emmanuel Germain. We absolutely have to step it up these next couple weeks. We're number one on both their boards. We need to get them both. Maverick Ross against FCS Northwest. Nine receptions for 150 yards, two touchdowns. A magnificent game from Maverick. Wow, yeah, we beat them 55 to 14. Hopefully our defense played really well. We did get our playing style back up, which means we can re-recruit Jared Baggin and Emmanuel Jermaine. We just got to keep it up. We do get our first two four-star commits to the video when Leo Cleveland and Daryl Toppins. However, Jared Baggin and Emmanuel Jermaine lock us out again. We didn't even play a game, so I don't understand how our playing style dropped again. CC McKenzie with an interception, three tackles, and the independent defensive player of the week against UMass. Take a look at that game. There are six and two are playing good football beat them 27 to 14 three tackles an interception but he also had a forced fumble and two fumble recoveries we love to see that from mckenzie 10 more coach points you already know where this is going and even though we beat you in ov jared baggy commits to stanford so we're gonna take him off our board antoine keys against hawaii four sacks seven tackles independent defense for the week a killer game from keys let's take a look at that game yeah i mean we beat hawaii 31 to 17 we actually move into the top 25 i did not expect to do that in our first season we're eight and two taking on san diego state final home game of the first season if we can get if we can win this one we have a chance to push for double-digit wins. That would be incredible in Season 1. We jump to number 20. We have 10 more coach points. We're not going to make the playoffs, obviously. We're only number 20. We don't have a conference championship to play for. But if we can get the recruiting hours up like we have been, this has been an incredibly successful Season 1. Take a look at this San Diego State game. We beat them 54-10. to My goodness, we stomped San Diego State. Season wise, Dylan Snell, 122 yards, two touchdowns. Jet Moore, 62 yards and a touchdown. 59 from Evan Ross. 25 for Titus Emanuel. And then 15 and a touchdown for Noah Richmond. Did we allow any sacks? No sacks. Played really well on offense. We'd love to see that. Even when we stomp San Diego State, Manuel Jimenez commits to Arizona, so we're going to take him off our board. Taking on Colorado State, our final game of the season. If we can win this, play in a bowl game and 
we'll have a let we'll have a chance to win 11 games in our first season i have a feeling it's not going to go this well next year and wow we went 10 and 2 in our first regular season that's incredible the number 16 team in the country we actually able to recruit emmanuel Hermain. so please dear god can we get him this week we're not playing a game this is a buy so we theoretically should have a chance to get him now that would be huge we get four star right outside linebacker emmanuel Hermain. that is a huge get for this program the guy we've been recruiting all season a four star gem we love to see it. we're taking on boston college in the birmingham bowl obviously to make the playoffs over the 16th team in the country i assume we didn't have a heisman finalist but i'm gonna look anyways yeah i mean jackson dart 30 touchdowns to one interception he deserves winning to win the heisman taking a look at early national signing day we managed to get the three guys we really wanted in leo cleveland daryl toppins and emmanuel hermain did lose out on a couple four star guys but we were able to supplant it with a bunch of three star talents we're excited about this class and then this game against boston college doesn't really have any impact on us so we're gonna send it so let's take a look i forgot to look at the colorado state game as well we beat colorado state 45 to 30 really killed them in the first half receiving wise jet moore 111 yards two touchdowns 74 yards on a touchdown from ever cross Blocking wise, didn't allow a sack. We played great against Colorado State. Against Boston College, though, we got crazy crushed. In the Birmingham Bowl, wow, we just couldn't score. I mean, our offense was an email. Receiving wise, less than 200 yards, 64 yards from Evergross, 59 for Zero Smith. Jet Moore only had one reception for 29 yards. You no, know, Richmond, 20 yards and a touchdown. Allowed six sacks. Garrett Lewis, our best tackle, allowed four sacks. That's incredible. Wow. Yeah, that'll do it right there. Holy shit, that's why we lost that game. We move up to a three-star program, the number 14 team in the country, even though we lose our bowl game. We had a great season. Fantastic season from Portland. Couldn't have asked for anything else. Up to a three-star program. We really actually go after five stars. This is going to be huge. Jet Moore, he is gone. He's a first-round pick. No chance we can get him back. Two guys in Ethan Springs and Deshaun Beauchamp. It would suck to lose specifically Ethan Springs. He decides to say, if we can get Deshaun Beauchamp back for just to have a great player. Okay, so we're going to lose him. This Jet Moore, that sucks. That just blows fucking chunks and then garrett lewis i was he's gone so our two best players gone to the draft we had an answer at receiver but right tackle i don't really think we recruited anybody that can replace him so we're gonna be kind of fucked at right tackle and we saw what happened we played boss college and he's a 91 overall and we still got throttled you didn't give a four sack got 10 coach points gonna put this all toward recruiting but i'm not gonna focus anymore on this i'm gonna put it on increased already interest actually gotta focus on that right now draft results one of our goals is to have a first round draft pick did we have one we did in the first year we complete this jed moore goes in the first round we love to see that yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna leave him be a first round pick i totally understand it man get the hell out of here <laughs> we're gonna go after a lot of transfers first of all we're gonna start off with some offensive linemen right tackle jay taylor out of oklahoma this guy would be the crown jewel of our class he would replace garrett lewis immediately running back to keys bad battle little bird cell he's the running back from nevada we beat them earlier this season he's someone that could come in and help with running back depth right away tight end ryan Otten. we really didn't have a high level tight end he'd be a guy to come and help right away he's only a sophomore from washington one of our rivals it'd be cool to steal him from him strong safety raider de mooney from byu i mean his name is raider bro that's so cool four star tight end state Traore from Mississippi State. He's a stud. If we could get him, he would be the instant best receiver we have. Defensive tackle Simone Peppa from Utah. We beat him. If you can't beat him, join him. Come on over here. Right tackle Charles Galloway. Another guy we want to have just to have because we need to tackle depth. And then two quarterbacks in Gabari Johnson from Oregon State. Again, if you can't beat him, join him. And Sam Levette from Arizona State. We're going to go after a massive transfer class. If we can get like half these guys, we're going to be in such good shape. We get three star tight end Chris Toon, our first commit of the transfer cycle. We love to see that. We get four star tight end Sedu Traore. That's a huge huge get we also get jake taylor the two biggest guys in the portal we need taking a look at national signing day we brought in a massive class of guys we bring in transfer Sedu Traore and jake taylor as well as transfer sam levitt bringing leo cleveland daryl toppins bringing ryan otten and simone peppa jacques bedalato bird cell jabari johnson and then emmanuel germain from high school a bunch of other three star guys we brought in a big class i don't imagine it's anywhere near the top 10 but if we can have it in the top 40 that'd be awesome now we're 32 five four stars 19 three stars five two stars all the two stars i think we have transfers we're really excited about this class right in four athletes let's start with carry boat right here gonna make him a fullback i know it's weird but we do run a veer offense so having the different fullbacks in multi-back sets is huge andre gukwe we're gonna put him at tight end we don't really have high level tight ends we weren't able to get any good ones outside of Traore in the portal so having someone we can develop is huge eric Rivas, gonna put him at left of linebacker we didn't recruit linebacker at all this offseason we gotta get someone there and then eric garrison gonna put him tight end again we need more guys as weapons and he's a better tight end than a receiver so we're gonna put him there taking a look at training results i mean we had some guys develop zero smith justin marlowe xavier gregory we brought in some studs taking a look at the roster we're an 86 overall a three-star program preseason number 15 in the country a little different roster obviously we're led by justin marlowe and zero smith we also have left tackle xavier gregory got a lot of seniors here 
here. Gonna have to replace a lot of these guys. I think we're a great team. Quarterback, we do have Justin Marlowe. We're gonna be fine at quarterback because we have Andre McCray or Sam Levette going into next season. So we're gonna be fine there. Now wide receiver gone is Jet Moore, but we do have Zira Smith. We also have Jaden Williams Randall. We do have Dylan Snell, but I'm talking about going forward. Even if Zira Smith leaves, we're still gonna have Jaden Williams Randall, Donovan Hampton, Hakeem Knox. We're gonna be fine at receiver. And then at left tackle, obviously Xavier Gregory. He's a junior. There's a chance he leaves, but even if he does, we have Dante Lasseter. We're gonna be fine here. At right tackle, we have Terry Maxwell. I wasn't sure who was gonna be here after the departure of Garrett Lewis. We also have Jake Taylor, the junior. So even after Taryn leaves, we're gonna be fine here. Next up, let's take a look at our recruiting board. After the season we just had, we're gonna go after a nice amount of five stars. Right outside linebacker, Muhammad Wick. Athlete, Cameron Johnson. Left outside linebacker, Mitchell Kiernan. Defensive tackle, Corey Crocker. Right outside linebacker, Cam Morris. Wide receiver, Chad Ahmed. Cornerback, Brian Welch. Defensive tackle, Emmanuel Lamudu. Wide receiver, David Comp. This could replace Zira Smith. Left tackle, Rashard Honeycutt to replace Xavier Gregory. Athlete, Shakira Burden. And defensive tackle, Dennis Ford. If we can even get like a quarter of these guys, we're gonna be dangerous going forward. All right, let's take a look at the schedule going into year two. We start the season at Kennesaw State. We come back to take on UTEP. Then we go to Kyle Field, take on number six, Texas a &M, and James Madison. We come back and take on FCS Southeast. We then go to Purdue and Oregon State before we finish the season with three home games against New Mexico State, Virginia, UConn, two more away games at Washington State and Kent State, and then three straight buys. We have 12 straight games and then don't play another game. We only play five home games. This isn't gonna be an easy, as easy of a schedule as it was last year, which is kind of concerning. Three straight buys. Our schedule makers fucking hate us. Taking on Kennesaw State. Let's see if we can take down the Owls on the road in our first game. Zeris Smith, eight receptions, 187 yards, three touchdowns. Spectacular game from him. Independent Offensive Player of the Week and the National Offensive Player of the Week. We love to see that. Let's take a look at this game. Yeah, we beat them 52 to 17. Holy smokes. We absolutely throttled them. Marlowe with 284 yards and six touchdowns. Holy smokes. 187 yards and three touchdowns to Zeris Smith, obviously. But even Otten had 29 yards. Jaden Williams Randall, 22 yards and a touchdown. Titus Emmanuel, 22 yards. They do Treore, 19 yards. Two of his three receptions were touchdowns. Did allow one sack on the right side by Terry Maxwell, but great game overall. Taking on UTEP, our first game at home this season. Let's see if we can get a win here at home. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this. Our home stadium is called the Shipyard. That's such a cool fucking name. Jaden Williams, Randall, independent offense for the week. Four receptions, 83 yards, three touchdowns. A ridiculous game from Randall. Love to see that. Got 10 coach points. Gonna spend that in a second. Let's take a look at this game. Marlowe, 268, four touchdowns. A great game from him. Obviously, 83 of those yards and three touchdowns went to Williams Randall. 49 to Smith Jr. and Traore. And 44 and a touchdown to Ryan Otten. Played great as a team. Did allow three sacks. Don't like to see that. Two of them came from inside and one of them came from Xavier Gregory. Coming from our guards, not a good sign, actually. You have 10 coach points. Gonna put this all toward recruiting again. Taking on Tech and I'm at Kyle Field. We're gonna hop into this one. This is the game of the week. If we can win this, we're the number 11 team in the country. I think we can jump up into the top 10 and that would put us squarely in the playoff conversation. Starting off on offense. This is not gonna be an easy game to win, folks. I'll tell you that much now. Hit it with a little play action to start off. I hit the wrong button. I went to throw to the flat, but it's okay. Gotta remember my routes. Okay, I know where I'm going with these balls. Got it. Oh my god, what a ball by Justin Marlowe down the sideline to Treore. Justin Marlowe has been fantastic this season. An absolute stud. See if we can hit him with a little play action again. Got him. Is that a touchdown? It is! Oh my goodness, a three-play touchdown. If we can hold him here, it would be huge. Hold him to a field goal. Gonna sit on Miller Jr. here. Give me oh my god, pick six. McKenzie with a pick six! And the Portland Pilots are going to take a two-touchdown lead on Texas A&M. Oh, my God. I did not expect that. Boys, I'll be honest. That game never got any closer. We absolutely trampled Texas A&M. 59-38. to 38. We put on an offensive clinic. You can look at the scoreboard. I mean, we started off super hot. Marlowe, 449, five touchdowns. A magnificent game from our senior. We're playing high-level football. If we can keep this up, we're going to be a dangerous team the whole year. DC McKenzie with an incredible pick six. That pretty much changed the entire dynamic of the game. Again, 59 points at Kyle Field. We were in control this entire game. Double digits every quarter. It was huge. The only quarter they matched us was that fourth quarter and we each put up 21 points. At the end of the day, we dominated Texas A&M. McKenzie with a pick six and five tackles, the independent defensive player of the week. Magnificent game from McKenzie. Really changed the entire dynamic of the game. Justin Marlowe, independent offense player of the week. 449 with five touchdowns. I mean, come on. Magnificent game from him as well. I wonder if he gets national. Nope. Okay. We moved to number 10 in the country. I can't believe we're this good already. We got a long season to go, but we're in a great spot. Manuel Mudu locks us out, so we're going to take him off our board. Taking on James Madison, another road game. This is going to be a trickier than a game than we think. Jamel Morris, 23 carries, 137 yards, four touchdowns. Magnificent game for Morris. Independent offensive player of the week. Take a look at that game. 56 to 10, 137 rushing yards, four touchdowns, 10 receiving yards. Take a look at Marlowe's stats. First of all, we forced their quarterback to throw five interceptions. That's crazy. Marlowe, three touchdowns and an interception. 80 yards to Jaden Williams. Randall at a touchdown. 76 to Dylan Snell at a touchdown. 64 to Zero Smith. 22 to Titus Manuel. 13 and a touchdown to Sadu Traore. Did allow a sack, but defensively, five interceptions. My 
goodness. Two for Dontrez Washington, one for Carrion Thompson, Quan Harvey, and CC McKenzie. Holy smokes, we were everywhere on defense. Taking on an FCS school, this should be a blowout game for us. Keontae Steele, three sacks, four tackles, a spectacular game from him. Independent defense player of the week. Let's take a look at that game. 42 to 9, Marlowe, 218 with two touchdowns, 76 and a touchdown for Zero Smith, 70 yards for Snell, 42 for Sadu Traore, 19 and a touchdown for Jaden Williams Randall. Didn't allow a sack, love to see that. Going to Purdue, the spoiler makers are never going to be an easy game, but we got to take care of them. Justin Marlowe, 254, four touchdowns, the independent offense player of the week. Magnificent game from him. We'd love to see that. Take it down, Purdue. Let's take a look at this game. 48 nothing. We blank Purdue. My goodness. 254 and four touchdowns for Marlowe. Williams Randall with 58. Sadu Traore, 54 and a touchdown. Zara Smith, 53 and two touchdowns. Ryan Otten, 29 yards. Dylan Snell with a 28 yard reception. And Titus Emmanuel, 22 yards and a touchdown. Did we allow a sack? Two sacks from Terran Maxwell. Don't love to see that, but played well. We are going to add athlete John Doss to the board. He's a five star athlete. Nobody's really getting it on him. If we can get it on him now, I think we have a chance to secure him. Taking on Oregon State. This is a huge game. This is a rivalry game for us. We can take them down. We move to 3 0 against our rivals. We get 10 more coach points. Let's add that to recruiting. Take a look at this Oregon State game. We went in 31 17, moved to 3 0 against our rivals. Love to see that. Marlo only had 177 yards with two touchdowns. Wow, it wasn't really a good offensive game. 50 yards for Sadu Traore, 31 for Dylan Snell, 30 for Zira Smith. Over 24 yard touchdown reception for Jaden Williams Randall. And three receptions for 19 yards and a touchdown for Jamil Morris. Blocking wise, did allow a sack off that left side. Don't like to see that from Xavier Gregory. We won the game. Continue to stay in the win column. We move up to the number five team in the country. Love to see that. Dennis Ford locks us out, so we're going to take him off our board. Take it on New Mexico State. We're entering the final stretch of our season. We've already played seven games. We can take that New Mexico State. We go to 8 0. We'd love to see that. We absolutely throttle New Mexico State. Let's take a look at this one. Wow. 393, six touchdowns for Marlowe. Three touchdowns on 154 yards for Zero Smith and 91 and a touchdown for Jaden Williams Randall. Dylan Snell with 72, 45 for Sadu Traore and a touchdown. A 14 yard reception for Ryan Otten and nine yards and a touchdown out of the backfield for Jamil Morris. We are balling on offense. No sacks as well while we're playing great football offensively. We get our first five-star of the video in Muhammad Wick, the right outside linebacker. We'd love to see that. Even though we win, Cameron Johnson commits to Clemson, so we're going to take him off our board. Taking on Virginia, this is probably our toughest test yet. Virginia, they're a good team, 5-1 from the ACC coming into our building. We got to hold strong. Deontay Steele, three sacks, four tackles, a spectacular game, the independent defense play of the week against Virginia. We'd love to see that. Let's take a look at that game now. Beat them 40-10. to Marlowe, 231 with three touchdowns. Receiving wise, two of those in 104 yards to zero. Smith. 39 yards to Sadu Traore. 36 and a touchdown to Jaden Williams Randall. Did allow a sack, but did have a pancake. At the end of the day, Xavier Gregory is playing the best player on the defensive line, so that's okay. Even though we beat Virginia, Mitchell Kieran commits to Notre Dame, so we're going to take him off our board. We do get five star wide receiver Chad Ahmed. That's a huge get for this team. Even though we beat New Mexico State, Brian Welch commits to Michigan, so we're going to take him off our board. And Richard Honeycutt commits to Clemson, so he's gone. On our final home game of year, we take on another independent in Yukon. I don't know why I said Yukon. It's Yukon. Here we go, boys. We got to end senior night off great. We take down Yukon 44 to 25. Marlowe, three touchdowns. Did have an interception. So had almost 400 yards, 110 yards, and two touchdowns to Zero Smith. 96 and a touchdown to Jaden Williams Randall. Did allow three sacks. UConn was able to get by our, our left tackle and through our front right guard. Interesting. Even though we beat New Mexico State, Quake Rocker commits to Notre Dame, so we're going to take him off our board. Gian Morris commits to Alabama, so he's gone. And David Kopp commits to Syracuse. So we're only able to get a couple of the five stars we wanted. We're still in the running for two more. Focusing on five stars really commits a lot of your resources, so it's kind of tough if you don't get them, but we're in a good spot with a lot of other guys. Taking on Washington State, another rivalry game. If we can do this, we can go to 4 0 against our rivals. We're the number four team in the country. We cannot afford to lose here. We take down Washington State. Let's take a look at this game. 41 to 28. They were a good team. They held us the whole way. They came alive in the second half. Great job by our defense in the first half. Justin Marlowe, 242 touchdowns. Receiving wise, 105 yards for Sadu Traore, 84 and a touchdown for Jaden Williams Randall. Ryan Otten, unsung hero, 21 and a touchdown. We'd love to see that. Didn't allow a sack. Offensive line has played great this entire season. We are one win away. We have to take on Kent State on the road. Kent State has only played eight games. We've played 11. That's crazy. Look at the back half of the schedule. This is unreal. Four straight buys. If we have anybody hurt, they're going to get healthy. That's awesome. In our final game of year two, we're going to Kent State. If we can win this, we'd probably secure our spot in the playoff. That'd be huge. We get 10 more coach points. Going to put this all on recruiting. We go 12-0 and through our first 12 weeks. However, we do have some injuries. Dylan Snell has a ruptured disc. He's out for two weeks. He'll be back by the time we play in the, either the playoff or our bowl game. Jamar Logan has a hamstring tear. He's out for a little under two months. He might not be back. So let's take a look at this. At wide receiver, we're fine, right? Obviously, Zero Smith is a stud. We have Jaden Williams, Randall, Donovan Hampton, Hakeem Knox, AJ Hayward, and maybe even Titus Emanuel are going to get some reps here, but we're going to be fine at receiver. We're a little thin, so we don't want to get too many more injuries, but at tight end, between Sadu Traore, Titus Emanuel, and Ryan Otten, we're fine. Defensive tackle things are a little scarier, right? We don't really have a high-level defensive tackle. Simota Peppa and Harrison Saturday are two guys. Cortland Mixon and Andrew Woods are getting in the mix. We are moving Trent Tennant to some D-tackle, but we're already thin at the end spots as it is. We Between Quinn Robertson starting at right end, Ben Sawyer Hall here, we have Thomas Collins, but at left end, we just switched because Leon Winfield's a better pass rusher. We have Trent Tennant there, Dita Dingle. I mean, it's just, we're thin at both receiver 
receiver and D-line. We're hoping that these guys can get healthy going forward. Shakir Burden commits to Alabama, so we're going to take him off our list. Obviously, after the season we had, we definitely got our contract extended. We'd love to see that. A nice five-year contract extension. We can take a look at this. Tenants three last year. We were 12-0 this year. We have a chance to make the playoffs this season, which is incredible. We get five-star tight end John Doss. Finally getting our recruiting class kind of into shape. We still got a lot of recruits we can go get, but we win head coach of the year. We love to see that. We win the Broyles Award. Our defense was incredible this season. Jamel Morris wins the best running back award. 250 carries, 1,200 yards with 19 touchdowns. Magnificent season from Morris. We had, he was an unsung hero for this team. We're taking on UCF. We get to host a playoff game. This is going to be so cool. Did we have a Heisman finalist? This would be huge. We did not. Kate Klubnick wins it deservingly so. Damn, that is tough. Award winners. Let's take a look at this. Obviously, we win head coach of the year. Best defensive player, Leon Winfield, was 10th in the running for that. We'd love to see that. Best running back, obviously, Jamil Morris. Lombardi Award, Leon Winfield was in the running for that. Justin Marlowe in the running for the United's Golden Arm. Damn, Cade Clutton had a year, though. Leon Winfield, best DN. They love to see that. Sadu Treore in the running for the best tight end. That's awesome. Obviously, our coordinators for the Broyles. Jake Mills in the running for the best center. That's awesome. He was a stud for us. And JoJo Baxter in the running for the best returner. As only a freshman, he was an absolute stud returning balls. Early National Signing Day, we don't have that many commits, but the guys we have are incredible, right? Let's just talk about the five stars. Muhammad Wick, Chad Ahmad. This is a guy that's going to replace Jarrett Smith. And athlete John Doss. Those are the big three. I cannot believe we got all three of them. The number one player in the entire country is coming to Portland. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket here. We are the five seed. Excuse me, we're the seven seed. Oh my God, the, all the top four seeds except USC aren't top five teams. Look at this. USC, the one seed, they win the Big Ten. The two seed, Virginia Tech, wins the ACC. The three seed, Charlotte, they win the American. Four seed, Oklahoma wins the SEC. Five seed, Clemson, the number one team in the country. Six seed, Oregon. Seven seed, us. Eight seed, Alabama. Nine seed, Michigan. Ten seed, UCF. We're taking them on. Eleven seed, Ohio State. Twelve seed, Iowa State wins the Big 12. Okay, so this is actually going to be a very interesting playoff bracket. A lot of the teams are going to be favored are in this first round. We got to take on UCF. We get to host a playoff game in year two. I did not expect this to go this fast in terms of getting to the playoffs so fast. In my Western Michigan and my high school rebuild, Western Michigan took me like seven years to make the playoffs, I think. And then my high school rebuild took 12. So this custom thing, I did not expect. And I just downloaded a custom Portland roster. Did not expect this to go this fast. We do love to see that though. We're taking on UCF. This is the playoffs, boys. We got to have this. Going to start this ball off on the ground. Wow, they had a punt dot. All right, Jaquiel, Jaquiel Morris, we got to get out of here. Give me a couple. We'll take four. We like that. We like that. Gonna keep running the ball. We don't really, I don't really want to pass this ball and try to get a safety here. I'm just gonna try to hand this ball off. Give me a couple. Give me a couple. Give me two. Oh, give me four. Jamil Morris. Nice job. Gonna try a little trickery here. I don't know if it's gonna work. It might be a stupid idea, but I'm kind of an idiot. Excellent ball. There we go. Nice job, Justin Marlowe. Here we go. What a ball. Oh my God. Only six yards, but that was a dot. Justin Marlowe has been incredible all season. Gonna try something different here. Here we go. Let's see if we can hit him with a motion. See if this motion throws him off. Got it outside. Hold on to the ball. Get a first down. Justin Marlowe, we're picking him apart right now. Gonna try to take the top off the defense. They're not in man press. I think I know where I'm going with this ball. Oh, you gotta hold on to that ball. I gotta throw that a little earlier. I'm actually gonna try running this ball. Gonna flip this play. Gonna go outside to the wide side of the field. 53, you gotta give me a block. 35, give me a better block than that. Damn. Here we go. Gonna try an RPO here on third and two. I imagine I hand this ball off. Yeah. Great running. Our offensive line is moving people around in the run game. JoJo Baxter running around all season. We're gonna see if we can hit them with a play action here. Great ball by, oh my God, bro. Justin Marlowe is balling right now. 77 touchdowns. That's no way that was this season. There's just no fucking chance. Got him. Touchdown. And Portland takes a 7-0 lead. 7-0. Gonna try a little bit of trickery and go with his end around. I've never done this before. Got it. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Great job by our offensive line. Great job by the receivers blocking downfield. Here we go. Let's see if we can hit him with the play action. Give me a couple yards. That was so easy, bro. Marlowe has played an incredible game. I'm gonna see if we can hit him with this play action boot slide. Going to, oh, they're bringing a blitz. Uh oh, gotta get it out. Just get upfield. Get upfield. Get upfield, Martin. He just ran a motherfucker over. Here we go. Jaleel Morris, can we bring this in for us? Punch this in. Oh, we gotta have a better block out of our guard right there. That was pitiful. That's a that should be a touchdown. Gonna see if we can hit him with a little play action. They're probably expecting not that. Gonna switch these routes up. Here we go. They're bringing a big blitz. <sighs> Didn't know the button. It wouldn't let me. Oh, it wouldn't let me throw it. All right. Gonna see if we can try some trickery here. Oh my god, what a catch! Holy shit! And I'll be honest, boys, that game wasn't even close. We had a 14-point lead, and we never give it back. We take down UCF. 337 for Justin Marlowe, five touchdowns. Magnificent game for the senior. He's been our star all season. I don't know how he wasn't in the Heisen race. He threw an absolute dime there. I don't know how that wasn't knocked out or picked or deflected, but whatever, we'll take it. We take down UCF to advance to the quarterfinals of the college football playoff. In just our second season. Well, again, I guys, I did not expect it to be this easy. At least just to have a relevant program. Just like that, we take down UCF. We 
win our first college football play game as a program. We advance. Let's see who we're gonna play in the quarterfinal. Taking on Virginia Tech in the Cotton Bowl. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket going into the quarterfinals. Obviously, our matchup is against Virginia Tech, but Ohio State upsets Oregon. Alabama sneaks by Michigan, and Iowa State upsets Clemson. So the number one team in the country doesn't even make it to the quarterfinals. Iowa State, Oklahoma, a Big Ten, or excuse me, a Big 12 rematch, a Big 12 throwback game. Alabama takes on USC. Ohio State takes on Charlotte, and we take on Virginia Tech. This is the weirdest playoff I think I've ever seen. Holy shit. Taking on Virginia Tech. Gonna bust out a uniform combo. I don't think I busted out yet. We're gonna bring out the All Black. This is for the Cotton Bowl, boys. This is for a chance to go to the semifinals. I can't believe we're here. Virginia Tech is moving the ball pretty effectively. We gotta get a stop on defense here. Third and six. Yeah, these uniforms are cool. Crazy. Holy shit, I love them. Mon Lacey in the secondary. Let's see if we can get a stop here on Kyron Jones. Give me that. Oh my god, they threw it to the receiver. We double teamed. What a bunch of madmen. Why would they do that? Carry on Thompson, the senior free safety with an incredible play. Jumping the route. Wow. Almost almost didn't have a pick six, but we that's huge. Defense needed to step up. We did. And unfortunately, our defense needs to step up again. We are not being able to move the ball well that right now. Mon Thompson, I got the running back. Oh, oh my god, he cooked us on the press. Our blitz didn't get there on third and 14. Shit. Gotta get something going offensively here. Gonna actually swing this play the wide side of the field. Gonna run some play action. I think we might have it if we get it early. We just need a couple inches. So, not looking down the field. Yeah, just looking right there. I think that's Ott, and I can't tell with the jersey. Oh, nice spin move. Justin Marlowe has thrown a pick. That's why we're in kind of a hole right now. Going to take our three. Going to cut this lead to four. Not a bad first drive for us, but we got to get some points on the board. Defense is doing its job. Now it's up to the offense to get going. Going to move in motion. They're in a zone. We only need a couple yards. Oh, no. Get back out. Get back out. Spin move. See you later, buddy. Get out of there! Nice job! We're gonna go jet touch pass to the wide side. I haven't really utilized it at all in this video. Hopefully this works right here. Here we go. Going outside. Give me the block. Cut up field. Get out. I should have just trucked him over. Got seven yards on it. Not a bad run. Gonna try to hand the ball off to Baxter here. See if we can punch this in. If not punch it, at least get the first down. There we go. Get there! Get there! He ran him over! Wow! We take a three-point lead! Gonna do the same thing. Gonna double that wide receiver on the right side. Gonna sit on Thompson. Gotta get some pressure here. Third and seven. If we can hold him to a field goal, that'd be huge. Oh my god, he wasn't even... Okay. Definitely not gonna press right now. Gonna sit back. Third and five. If we can hold him to a field goal. We're in a good spot. I'm on Wheaton. Dude, no way! Oh my god! God. All right, fuck that. I'm bringing pressure. I'm on Wheaton. I'm flying back. <laughs> Give me that! Oh! No way! All right, here we go. Third and goal. We're gonna hold him to a field goal here. That'd be huge. At least going to the half down seven. That'd be fine. Give me that! Let's go! Never mind. We're gonna go to the half down four. That's awesome. Here we go. Third and one. Read option on the outside. I'm gonna hand this off to Baxter. I don't even have to. I'm not even... Not playing no games. Oh, I ran that little bad. I could've got a couple more yards, but we did fine. JoJo Baxter, 12 rushes for 51 yards. We're playing great football right now. Gonna try an RPO here. I'm probably handing this off, but... Who knows? Yeah. Baxter, let's go! We take a three-point lead in the Cotton Bowl. The offense has come alive here in the second half. Third and inches, gotta get it here. Got it. Get out of there. Nice job, Williams Randall. Gonna run play action, boot slide to the wide side of the field. I only need a couple yards. I think this is four down territory anyways. Got it. I tried to cut back and get a block right there, but it's okay. We're in the red zone. We're threatening. If we can get a touchdown here, we'd be in a great spot. Gonna try the fake toss. See if we can sling the rock. Go for this touchdown right away. Got him. No. Please, oh, it might be illegal. Was I across the line of scrimmage? Illegal man downfield? Oh my god, what are we doing? Honestly, we'll take the first and 15. I like having the extra room to operate. We're gonna try some play action here. Virginia Tech's defense is tough. Gonna try moving Snell on a drag. Maybe one of these posts get open. If not, I'm gonna be in trouble. Dude, oh my god, not the time for Justin Marlowe to have a bad ball. Listen, Justin Marlowe has done nothing to help us. It has been our run game and our defense. Third and two, bought a lot of bird cell. It's time for you to show what we brought you here for. Punch this in. Get there. Get out of there, Bottolo! Burnsell! Let's go! His third rush of the day, 11 yards per carry. He has been excellent. We are in a dogfight against Virginia Tech, bro. Get this ugly-ass bird out of my face. Gonna try to punch this in. Let's head the ball to Galloway. Oh, they brought a big blitz. Oh, my God. I Get out of my way. 77 or 70, whatever. You, I can't even read the numbers. Isaac Galloway has done nothing today. Here we go. Okay, gonna try some play action here. They've been selling out for the run pretty heavily. They're in zone. Get there! Get there! Hold on to it! I don't know if that's Ott, and I don't know who that is. We take a 10-point lead late in the game. If we can get any points on this drive, we're already probably close to field goal range. I know where I'm going with this ball immediately. No, I don't. I should have not thrown this ball. Oh my god, what a grab! What the fuck was that catch? Holy shit, I thought that was picked off. He is hurting. We just gotta get out of this game. All right, second and 14. We're gonna try another end around. It worked well last time. Dude, they sold out for the run. Holy shit. We're just gonna try to get into a man more manageable field goal here. Honestly, I'm being ballsy. Got it. Got it! And the Portland Pilots are gonna go to the semis! Just gotta get this onside kick. <gasps> 
We got it. Oh my God. We just need a couple of plays. We might need a first down. You know, they still have tied two timeouts. I don't know how they're able to score so fast without using a timeout, but here we go. Oh my God, our two linemen just fucking ran into each other. Got it, got it, got it. Game over! JoJo Baxter just ripped the heart out of Virginia Tech. We're gonna give him some more yards. We gotta give him 200 yards. Give him 200. Oh, fuck you. You know what? His injury risk is high. We're gonna win this game. And we're gonna advance to the semifinals. Holy shit, I did not expect Portland to take down Virginia Tech. Carry on Thompson, two picks. Easily the player of the game. We didn't have much going on offense, but damn. And with that, we t win the Cotton Bowl. I did not expect to be here. This is a miracle run. Yeah, I'm I'm in shock. I'll be honest, guys. This is this is crazy. We two wins away from a national championship in our second year. This is not what I expected to happen. Garyon Thompson, independent defense player of the week. Two interceptions, a tackle. You couldn't ask for much more. A killer game. Seydou Traore, five receptions, 72 yards, and a touchdown. Terrific game from Traore. Do we have any national? Nope. We're playing Ohio. Jesus, bro. Ohio State. Holy shit smokes. We do have 10 coach points. Probably gonna put this all toward recruiting. Again, if we don't manage to win this year, I want our recruiting to be as high as it can be. And we're damn near already almost there. Let's take a look at the bracket in the semifinals. So in the quarterfinals, Ohio State upset Charlotte and we upset Virginia Tech. So it's gonna be us versus Ohio State, USC versus Iowa State. This is easily the weirdest playoffs I've ever seen. This is crazy. Taking on Ohio State though. This is gonna be a fun game. Haven't played them in this video. Gonna go with the white jersey and purple pants. Gonna try something different. Here we go, boys. This is the Peach Bowl. This is for a chance to go to the national championship game. The Portland Pilots a soccer team, a soccer powerhouse, are this close to winning a national championship in real football. Led by Justin Marlowe. This is incredible. I did not expect to be in the semifinals in our second year. A Peach Bowl championship, folks. Taking on the big, bad Ohio State. We gotta have it. Here we go. We're gonna start this game off. We might try to take the top off this defense here. Got him. Great ball by Justin Marlowe. I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna try another play action play. See if we can hit Snell. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, I almost, okay, I thought I was way closer to the line of scrimmage. That was kind of stupid. That was kind of stupid. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. I'm going to put Trey in an out route here. I think I have, got him. Dumbass. Out route was a distraction. The in route was the read. Going to put Williams Randall on a drag here. Got him. Slant. Oh, spin move. Holy spin move. That was great. Cyrus Smith has been an unsung hero. I'm actually going to flip this. going to flip this run to the short side of the field. Dude, can we get some fucking blocks? Like, who are you blocking over there, 73? Going to go same. Actually, going to go same thing. Going to go to the short side. I like the short side blocks. Give me the block, 70. Oh, I just got to truck him over, bro. JoJo Baxter, two rushes for 90 yards. Not bad. Going to hit him with a play action. Going back to this wide side. I think Emmanuel's going to be open right away. Here we go. Get up there! I don't know if that's Zero Smith. I think that is Zero Smith. Nice job. I'm terrible with numbers. Zero Smith on an RPO. We can probably hand this off to Galloway. Let's find out, though. Yep. Get there! Let's go! Portland strikes first! Our offense is humming. Defense did their job. Here we go. Got him. Stay on your feet! Let's go! We're moving the ball so well. Gonna go read option. I probably hand this off to JoJo Baxter just based on where the read man is. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, my God! Our offensive line is mauling Ohio State right now. That was very short-lived. Ohio State has two first downs, and they have two touchdowns. This is going to be a game, folks. Going to put Trey on an out route again. I think this clears for Snell. Yep. Again, same read. Nice job. We're dealing with some injuries here. Going to put you on a drag. Williams Randall might be open. The slant coming across is way more open. Holy shit. Nice job, Jaden Williams Randall, getting that ball. But damn, that was a dumbass read by me. Going to do the same thing. They're going to sit in the same coverage here. And that's going to be open. Coming across the middle. Oh, I thought I got. I was going to get around him. Holy shit. Marlo, outside of the one pick, he has been playing spectacular football. Going to put Traore on a post here. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. No fucking way. Dude. Defense, we need a stop. Please, dear God, hold him to three. I'm going to sit on Thompson in the secondary. Give me. Oh, you got to go get that. They do hit a 55-yard field goal, but we still have a chance here. See if we can try to take the. Oh, no, we can't. But it doesn't matter because that's wide open. Nice job. Well, outside of the picks, I mean, one of those is my fault. But Justin Marlowe has played great. Seydou Traore playing great football. We got all three timeouts. I'm going to save one for now. Are they pressing or are they faux pressing? Faux pressing. Great catch. Timeout. Timeout. There we go. Great catch. We're going outside. We're moving the ball really effectively right now. Changing up our offense. Here we go. Going to put Williams Randall on a streak too. Are they in? Oh, they are in press. Fools. Oh, no, no! Dude, I... No, we're running that back. I had him. Get in the same defense, you fucking moron. Yep, I got him now. Don't faux press. Actually press. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Launching it up to him. I had him burnt to a crisp, and I threw the wrong fucking route last time. That's so my fault. You guys are gonna... Oh. Give me the first. That's fine. Another first down. Got a timeout. We're in field goal range. As long as we don't turn the ball over, we're gonna be fine. Gotta call my final timeout. So we can play it safe, or I can be not bitch made and go for it. Okay, here we go. Touchdown! Let's go! Holy shit, I didn't think that was gonna work. And boys, the game never got any closer. We took down Ohio State 41 to 24. I'll be honest, didn't expect it to be, I don't wanna say as easy as it was, but I didn't really play that much. I threw the one pick. I think scoring a touchdown at the end of the first half was huge. 339, two touchdowns for Marlowe. A magnificent game from him. And the Portland Pilots, in only their second year of existence, are one win away from a national championship. This is my third, like, kind of. 
custom harder rebuild i did not expect portland to be this good like at all like i said western michigan took me like eight years my zero overall team took me 12 or 13 i expected this to be grindier and i'm, I'm kind of glad it's not because i've kind of done all three of those back to back to back but damn like we get the peach bowl win and we're gonna take on usc or oklahoma or excuse me usc or iowa state Jamari logan four tackles three tfls the independent defense player of the week legendary game from logan needed all of what he had in the peach bowl zero smith five receptions 104 yards and a touchdown i mean spectacular from him i wonder if we had national player at all nope but we're taking on you USC. Holy shit. Let's take a look at the bracket. How did USC do against Iowa State? They just snuck by Iowa State. So 12 seed Iowa State was so close to making it to the national championship game. But it's Portland versus USC, a West Coast final being played in Miami. We're going to go with the white, black, white combo. We're taking on USC. This is for a national championship. This is for, I guess, all the glory. I cannot believe we're here. This is the most TCU. You know what? Uh, that's kind of offensive. Not really offensive, but TCU miracle run, season of dreams type beat. But this, this is a season of dreams if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. A West Coast rivalry. I wouldn't call it a rivalry. A West Coast showdown. Here we go. Gonna start on, on offense. I love the black uniforms. See if we can hit a little play action to start this game off. Got him. Over the top! Treore! Stay on your feet! 50 yards from the opening play. Play action has been a staple of our offense. Let's see if we can hit it again here on this first down. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. At least I got rid of it, but damn, they flew through. Gonna see if we can try this end around. It worked last time. I don't know if it's gonna work this time. Got him. Give me a couple blocks. There we go. Give me five. Give me five. Dylan Snell, nice run. Okay, gonna have motion from Snell. I like this. Oh, I like this now. Yeah, easy. I know where I'm going. I don't actually know where I'm going. I don't actually know where I'm going. That was so stupid. I'm doing that again. No, that was my fault. 100%. I know where this ball needs to go right away. And I just am a fucking moron. Fourth and five. It's a national championship, folks. We got to go for it. I did not. That's not where I want to go either, but it was open. See if we can hit him with the play action. The play action has been airing this Trojan defense apart. I think Otten might be open early, but if I have the time, I'm going to Trey or, or Manuel over the top. Hit my check down. Totten! And Portland strikes first! Like I said, folks, we've been drilling him with play action. I'm not going to stop now. See if they bite. Third and inches. Got him. Great catch! Oh my god. Third and five, USC just past midfield. If we can get a stop here, we can force them into a punt. That would be huge. No! Why did you come back here, you fucking moron CPU defense? Gotta get a stop here on third down. Third and eight, gonna bring some heat. I'm gonna go sit back on Thompson in the secondary. Here we go. Great job by Trey Tennant to get the sack. They might be out of field goal range. They are. Here we go. This is an excellent spot. If we can get this, we can get a huge lead. Got him. Dude, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're moving the ball. Our tight ends, I look for them every time. Here we go. Okay, I actually, are they in man here? Nope, they're in zone. Stay on your feet. Oh my goodness. Oh, LJ Daniels. Oh, our left tackle. Shit. Here we go. Here we go. Got him. What are we doing? What are we doing? Leaving the middle of the field so wide open. See if we can punch this in with Galloway. Looking at an RPO, I think I'd probably hand this off unless they really crash down. Nope. Oh, first and goal at the one. Are you, or second goal at the one. Are you kidding me? Gonna put Trey on a drag. I think. We have someone right away. Got him. Got him! Another touchdown to the tight end. I believe that's Otten. We take it to the fourth quarter. A 50-yard field goal. We make this. Our lead expands to 10. Drilled it. Oh, my God. A 10-point lead for Portland. That's huge. And, folks, that'll do it. The Portland Pilots in just year two win a national championship. I did not expect Portland to be this good. Holy shit. For a team that hasn't fielded a football team in 75 years, in just their second year of existence, we win a national championship. Holy shit. Look at the trophy all the way from Portland, Oregon. The Pilots. Flew down to Miami to take down the Trojans. I cannot believe we just won that game. Unfortunately for me, we didn't actually complete all of our goals. We did have a winning record versus our rivals. We were 4-0 against Washington, Washington State, Oregon, and Oregon State. We had a first-round traffic, won a national championship, but we didn't have a Heisman finalist. And even if we did have a top-10 recruiting class, it doesn't matter because we didn't have a Heisman finalist. We win a national championship. I'm going to be honest. I did not expect it to go this easily. But if you have any other teams you want me to see me rebuild, make sure to comment them down below. If you want to see any other videos, make sure to comment that down below. Like and subscribe. Because I didn't complete all the goals, I have a jersey giveaway, so make sure to comment your Instagram down below. And YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Find out if they're right.